Welcome to DMI 62 and your first semester of clinicals. Let's begin by getting your clinical binder set up. The first step is to use the pre-printed tab inserts and place them in the appropriate tabs. The tabs should go in this order, starting with red being DMI 62. Next is the clear tab with DMI 64, followed by blue, which is DMI 66, then dark orange, which is interns, followed by yellow, which is multi-semester, then green, which is electives, then pink, which is simulation, followed by light orange, which is daily log. Now that the tabs are in place, let's put all of the documentation in the appropriate order. The very first thing that we want to see when we open your clinical binder is the CCSF ARRT guidelines page. At the bottom of this page shows the CPR expiration dates. Then when we turn that page, the next section we want to see are the ARRT radiography competency checklist. These pages will be six in total either six individual pages or three double-sided pages. After the ARRT competency checkoff pages will be the first red tab, DMI 62. After the red DMI 62 tab will be two pages titled DMI 62 clinical competencies. Then after the clear DMI 64 tab will be two pages that say DMI 64 clinical competencies. Go ahead and after each tab, place the appropriate pages behind that tab. After the light orange daily log tab, you should see a sheet like this that says daily log sheet, and it should be pre-filled in with yellow highlighting. After that page will be multiple daily log sheets that are all blank. Once your binder is all put together, open back up to the very first page that says CCSF ARRT guidelines. At the very bottom where it says CPR expires, I want you to write in the date that your current CPR card expires. Once you have finished that, then your clinical binder is ready to go.